Hello everyone, my name is Ayush and in this video we will be learning about solar energy and implementing an ideal household solar power system using Simulink. You might have heard about solar energy. Solar energy is the energy that we receive in the form of radiation of the sun. It is a very renewable source of energy and we can harness this energy and use it in different ways like thermal energy, generating electricity and running solar powered cars. The best part is that there is no wastage of energy as the source is unlimited and there is no pollution as well. In this video, we will focus on how electricity is generated using solar energy. The photovoltaic cell is the main component in converting solar energy to electrical power. These cells use a thin layer of silicon coating. The top is covered in a film to protect it from moisture and rain. Many cells are connected in series to generate sufficient power. The principle on which a solar cell works is the photoelectric effect. In the photoelectric effect, when a radiation of a light beam strikes a metal surface, preferably a semiconductor, electrons are ejected and the flow of electrons helps us to generate the electricity needed. However, the output generated by the photovoltaic cell is not suitable or sufficient to power up the household appliances. Some changes and modifications need to be done to create the final output as a 220 volts AC sine wave used in households. The first thing we need to perform is to increase the voltage coming from the output of a photovoltaic cell. Since it is a DC output, we use a boost converter to step up the voltage. A boost converter consists of a diode, an IGB switch, a capacitor and an inductor. It works on the principle of conservation of power. As the voltage increases, the current reduces. Once we have stepped up the DC voltage, it is time to convert this into an AC waveform. The only way to convert DC to AC is by using an inverter. The conversion of DC to alternating voltage, voltage is achieved by converting energy stored in the DC source such as the battery or from a rectifier output into an alternating voltage generally done using switching devices continuously turned on and off and then stepping up the transformer. The output from the inverter is an AC but still not perfect because a proper sine wave is needed. So we have to pass this waveform to a passive filter consisting of an inductor and a capacitor. The filter will smoothen out the signal and now this wave can be applied across a resistive load and by connecting a scope parallel to the load we can observe a smooth sine AC wave operating at a maximum of 220 volts. Now we will be simulating the model in Simulink. As you can see from the channel statistics, 94% of people view our content and are not subscribed. If you like our content, hit the red button and subscribe. It really motivates us. I have created the Simulink model for the solar power generation model by adding the respective elements. If you are wondering how to implement the circuit in Simulink, please look at our Simulink fundamental course. The link is given in the description. However, if you face any difficulty and want to access the Simulink model, visit the blog with the link in, in the description and purchase the blog resources along with a short report. Since we are simulating an ideal scenario, we have taken two signal builder blocks for the irradiance and temperature which are fed to the PV array. Temperature and irradiance change with time, so does the voltage from the PV array. When we click on the first scope after getting the output from the PV array, we can see that the afternoon's peak voltage is low and is direct current. But since the output is low, we have to boost it up. So we use the boost converter and obtain the waveform after boosting the voltage. After boosting the voltage, we still get the waveform as a direct current, which is not suitable for household appliances. So we pass the DC current into an inverter and convert it into AC waveform. However, this AC waveform is not perfectly sinusoidal, so it cannot be used in household appliances. In order to convert it into a sinusoidal waveform, we pass it through a passive filter. On clicking the scope at the load end, we obtain the sinusoidal AC waveform after passing it through a passive filter, which is the same wave used by our household appliances. Thank you for watching this video. Do like this video if you found it helpful. If you have any queries, post them in the comments or get in touch with us. Follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. 
एजुकेशन इज आर फ्यूचर मैथ लैब इज आर फ्यूचर हैप्पी मैथ लैबिंग